Well, guys, I got a box full of goodness from Monkey Lockpicks, located in Bovezo, Italy. A lot of you guys probably never heard of Bovezo, but, but it's very near where I used to live in northern Italy, and it's just north of a little town. You probably heard of this one called Brescia. Brescia's were some of the finest shotguns in the world, are made in little, like, one-off kind of factories, all hand done, and probably cost more than many of us make in many, many years of our lives. Uh, all custom made, obviously. I, while I was living in Vicenza, I actually dated a girl from a town called Brescia, which is where they make Parazzi. My hope was that in dating her, uh, maybe her, her father, who worked in one of these little factories, would give me a bargain. Never played out for me. But anyway, enough uh, ancient history. We got three challenge locks from Monkey Lockpicks. We got one called Snake Bite. Yeah, I haven't tried to pick any of these. One is called uh, Quicksands, pretty self explanatory. I think you fall into that. Probably never gonna get out. And one called, let's see, Tadalus. That's kind of an odd name mixed in with Quicksands and Snake Bite. These have like an Arizona theme, and this one, not so much. Tadalus is a, well, several things, I guess. Dedalus was an Italian rock band, lived and died in the 1970s, but not for anywhere near Bovezo. They were down south. It's also um, uh, James Joyce's, for those of you who have a public education, James Joyce's alter ego or anti-hero in Ulysses. Probably one of the most boring books I think I've ever waded through. Anyway, enough of that. Three challenge locks. And then he also sent me a shiny object, which I think he knew I would I mean monkey lock picks. Knows I'm very simian like. Shiny things, I go for them. In his letter, he said, This is one of the most evil key ways he has ever seen. And you know, I tend to agree with him. That's really very nasty. Um, especially when you take a look at this key. Now, you might think it would be rakeable if you could get a rake in there, which of course you can't. But you have all these low cut ones, and then the high cut one, of course, is back here on the tip. So you might say, well, I'm just going to take my pick. I'm, I'm going to turn it sideways here. You can't pick from the bottom because there's too much warding in the way. So it forces you to pick from that ledge right there. The problem is you can't really get that pick in there. you really got to force it. And when you do that to get it all the way in the back, you're oversetting all those low cut pins. So kind of a challenge, quite honestly. Now, a lot of you guys look at this warding and say there's no way to get a pick in there, but actually there is. And if you have a pick, you've probably seen me use this before. Now, you know I can't work from that ledge. I'm going to have to work from the bottom just to get that thing inside of there. But when you do that, you remember the pins actually have to touch the key. So there's got to be a chamber in there. And if you go past this and this warding up in the front, Indeed, you can get the pick up through that chamber in the warding. And if you've got a deep enough cut pick, I think you can probably do that to access all five pins inside of this CISA. Um, I normally would go this guy. And this is from the SS Div Kit. This is their deep hook. But Monkey Lock Picks also makes custom picks. Here's a couple of them. These are very nice wood handles. Both of them are 25 thousandths. But look, take a look at this. This top one is what he calls his hybrid. Now it's, he says it's a double pick. Now clearly you can turn it upside down and you can rake it. And if you turn it around like this, if you have a high cut pin hiding behind a very low cut pin, this is probably a good choice. I've never seen a design like this, never tried it, but I might get a chance on this lock. Another one that's really useful is this one. This is a, another hybrid, very deep. And when you hold them up next to that hook, that I was going to use, I think you can see a lot of similarity here, except on that monkey lock picks on the bottom, very fine tip to squeeze up inside of those chambers. So strong hint here to try this one, I think. That's why he sent it. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Let me go ahead and move all this stuff out of the way. I'm going to get the vise, and let's see if we can't get this shiny thing picked open. All right, this thing, I, I'm going to use the 25, or sorry, 29,000. This is from the Mad Bobs. I've got them color-coded, so blue's the thinnest one, but it does fit here. And when I checked it out, I noticed that the core on this lock has a very strong spring, which makes it even, even more difficult to get any kind of feedback. So we got to delicately balance. 
using enough against too much. If you use too much, they all bind. If you don't use enough, you're going to be dropping stuff left and right. But let's see if we can give it a shot. I'm going to go in there with this modified hook from Monkey Lock Picks. Okay, all the way to back. We know there's five because we saw the key. I'm going to just going to drag him until I find the first chamber and see what we got here. I got a little bit of feedback. Maybe I'm not on the actual pin. There we go. There he is. Nope, springy. All springy. I must have missed somebody here. Let me drag him again and try to find that chamber. There he is. All springy again. Hmm. Let me check number one. No, we're good. Get up in there. There we go. All right. I felt a click on five. Four is still springy. Three is still springy. Okay, that was three. I got to click on him. And the garbage man's coming by. You guys with headphones can probably hear that. Now we got a fault set. Okay, that was pin one. It is not open, but we're on the right path. Okay, when we're hung up like this, I forgot to mention CISAs almost always have spools. So now I'm just going to drag until I find, okay, five is still picked. And I get no feedback on four. Come on, he's got to be in there somewhere. The hardest part is finding those chambers, working your way around the warding. All right, I believe we have feedback on two. If I can just get the pick position correct, correctly. Get on there. And there we go. All right, guys. You can pick these paracentric keyways. All you got to do is just find a fine tipped pick and fit it up inside of those chambers. And this, this got worked out very well. I got to say, good design and nice fine tip. I believe this one a little bit smoother than it would have had I tried this one from SS Dev, would have been my fallback. But you notice that's a lot fatter than the monkey tip or the monkey lock picks version. So I would have had more trouble finding those chambers. It would take a little longer. I think we would have gotten it, but we got it anyway. Nice, shiny object open. Now I can wear this as a necklace. Yeah, man. Anyway, thanks, guys. Appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. Monkey lock picks. I will put the link to your um, uh, web shop in the description. If anybody's interested in talking to them about getting some of these picks made, just contact them directly. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.